All right. So just so we remember where we were at, when we ran the code yesterday, we got a um, concurrent modification exception. So we see that right here. Um, and it tells us where it is. Uh, so we actually get a little bit of a stack trace here. Um, the thing at the bottom will be, um, well, not necessarily at the bottom, but the thing at the top is like where the exception was actually generated from, but it might not be in our code and this is not in our code, right? This is in some linked list iterator class. Um, so we may have to move throughout down through the stack trace until we get to a, a class name we recognize like list demo main. Um, it's, these are actually like hyperlinks. If you hold down um, the uh, command key or Windows key on the Mac and then the uh, alt key on, I think alt key, control key on Windows, um, you can click on it and it will actually take you to that line of code, which is super convenient. Um, and it tells you a line number. So it's like, hey, at line 100, we generate this concurrent modification exception. Um, so that's handy for debugging. What a concurrent modification is, um, concurrent means like two, th one or two or more things happening at the same time. So a concurrent modification is when two different objects are, mod are potentially modifying um, the linked list at the same time. And those two objects involved here are the iterator um, and line 103 here where we use the linked list object directly to remove an element. And the way to think about this, and again, I, I know I keep saying this a lot and it's gonna get frustrating, it will make more sense in chapter 16 um, when we actually implement our own linked list iterator. Um, but I think conceptually you can appreciate that a, an iterator has to keep track of like where it is in the linked list. And if some other code um, some other object changes that linked list from underneath it, it no longer knows where it is and what's going on with the linked list, and therefore it can have problems, right? Um, and so that's what's going on here, and that's why we get the concurrent modification exception. So when you do get that exception, look at the code involved and try to figure out what, what are the two objects that are both potentially modifying the list. In this case, it's the iterator and it's using the linked list object directly to remove an element, okay? Um, so I wanted you to experience that, see what the exception looks like, understand conceptually why it happens so that when you run into it, you can, you can fix it. Um, if we need to, if we're using an iterator to iterate through the list, then we need to only use that iterator object and just that one iterator object to do all of our operations. Um, so that's, how we'd have to fix that. All right, let's do one more example. Last example. Um, actually, let's capture what we just talked about so we don't forget this. So I'm gonna do slash star enter and write concurrent modification exception, a ridiculously long class name, um, and then explain what that is. We cannot modify a linked list while also using an iterator unless you use that iterator to do so. So to compare and contrast, up here, we're using an iterator, but we're using the iterator to remove an element. That's fine. Down here, we're using an iterator, but we're using the linked list directly to remove an element. Not fine. So. And internally, the implementation of the remove method on the linked list class itself uses a second iterator. That's why we get this, this error. So you might get this concurrent modification exception um, and, and be a little more puzzled as to what's going on. So let's do one more example. Let's write an enhanced for loop like we did earlier. So for n in staff, we'll iterate through all the elements. If n equals Harry. So if we find Harry, we're going to add Charlie to the end of the list. Oh, and we better comment out line 109 because that's what generated that um, 
exception. So I'm going to comment that out so we don't generate that exception again. So comment out 109 here, staff removed Diana. But here's our enhanced for loop. If we find Harry, if Harry's somewhere in the list, add Charlie to the end. Cool. So go ahead and run this as well. I'm going to do the same. I still get a concurrent modification exception. Okay. But in this case, there's no iterator. Right? So why do we still get this thing? Um, and it's all because of what's happening behind the scenes. So I'm going to type concurrent. No, I'm not. I'm going to copy and paste it. That's a long word. I'm going to copy concurrent modification exception down here again. And then to clarify here, what's going on is the enhanced for loop automatically creates an iterator. That's how it works. So even though we didn't explicitly create an iterator, an iterator was still created internally by using the enhanced for loop. And so once again, we have an iterator because of the enhanced for loop and we're directly modifying the linked list by using the linked list object. And so we're gonna get that concurrent modification exception. So we got to comment this out too. All right, so just to summarize, because this will, this will come up as we start doing our practice programming activities, we get this exception when, and it doesn't have to be just on a linked list. We're going to see this in other collections as well. Um, but when we modify the collection without using an iterator, and there is also an iterator present, then we're going to run into trouble. Keep in mind that the enhanced for loop internally uses an iterator, so that doesn't necessarily help us any. So what do we do instead is we could use a traditional for loop instead of an enhanced for loop. That's one way to work around it. Um, another way to work around it and probably the preferred way is to use an iterator um, and use the methods on the iterator when we want to modify the linked list. In general, that's the best approach. Okay. So when you run into this exception, find where you're triggering it and then switch to one of these other two approaches.